I'm gonna be honest, I like using the big boy guns. I mean, don't we all? Just sitting in your inventory for a good 30 minutes, not being able to decide whether or not you need a third canted sight and whatnot. But once you get that recoil down as much as possible, and your body is ready, you enter a raid. And get shit on by a scab, am I right? Am I right? But what about all those weapons that are actually good, and are just sitting either in our stash in the form of backup income, or, you know, no one even considers spending a dime on them? Well, I have a feeling that this bad boy is one of those guns. Now, I know for a fact that one of the reasons it's not being used as much is because it's not a selective fire rifle. But what's more rewarding, spending over 20 rounds to get a single kill, or achieving the same thing with 3, 4, maybe 5 shots? Hell, you know, even 1. It goes without saying that when you use a selective fire rifle, you will without a doubt always have it on full auto, at least in CQB. But that Viper though, it's underrated as fuck. <laughs> Obviously, I'm fucking late, as always. Grab onto this. There we go. Nope. This is Private Powers Dick Powers. It took Private Dick Powers some time until he actually got the courage to penetrate the walls of the health resort with his mighty, sassy, r -sass. As part of the first wave Alpha Badger 69 USEC breaching unit, he watched his comrades bleed to death in the moldy bathrooms and abandoned malls. And he did absolutely nothing. So he decided to run, run, run away. He contemplated his wrongdoings in being a little bitch on the shores of murky Russian waters. So over time, his confidence grew. He gave himself a promise that he will not back out of a fight no more. He became so brave, he became- <laughs> You alone, dude? Oh! Oh. Not alone. And there we go. That's another RSS. What the fuck? My man. There we go. However, I don't think I should be looting just yet. Man, this pepper is fucking amazing. Always a fucking third one. I'm not actually sure if that's if that is a third guy or if it's like uh, or if they're just coming. Nope. 
It doesn't have to be the same squad, you know. I'm done. I'm done. <coughs> Should be good. But I heard that second RSAS, so... He had an AK or something. Suppressed. There might be more. Probably outside, just fucking... Camping in bushes. Or on the other side. <laughs> no, that's not the guy I heard. I actually think I'm gonna get out of here now. Cause, uh, I do have keys, but, you know, I'm already full. I had factory as my, you know, go-to map when when I don't want any lag. It's two of them. I kind of want to go see what's going on. Don't disturb the scavs. Calves? Are they? Hmm. Oh, some weird movement. And anywho, I feel like the spawns on this side are fucking a mess. Oh, it's a guy. Kill this calf for me, nice. So if you spawn like right next to this rock down here, close to the water, I feel like that's the best one, you know, because you can rush here, where I am now. Yeah, so you're pretty much able to see this whole side, you know. The only problem is if they hug the right side of the wall and push away from the car, you know towards the lumber camp. But even so, you know, you can, you can pretty much spot everyone. Whereas, if you're right next to that rock down there, it's like, getting out of there, huh, good luck. We got a blueberry.
Bluebird's got a friend. Where you at, buddy? So I'm running. I think he's dead. No. Yeah. MP5? It's a bit strange for woods. Unless it's like a backup or a sniper rifle. They could literally be anywhere now. I'm still gonna die. I rush him, but you gotta be careful with this viper. What's up with the vanilla face? Slowly <laughs> back off. Just to be sure. Like, there was a lot of shots. I think it was like two squads. They took their time too. I had a late spawn and by the time I... Whoa. Okay, whoa. Right, this doesn't happen to me very often. So, uh, probably gonna end up like that guy. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn, dude. I think I'm the last one. What the fuck happened here? Oh. oh god. Something tells me that poor guy was already planning his extraction route. He thought about hugging the right side of the wall. Maybe, you know, even searching the pockets of his fallen brothers for a couple thousand rubles to pay the good man at the South VX to drive him to safety. He probably even thought about stealing some of their gear, being a nasty little loot goblin. But little did he know that in the midst of that apparent calm, he's gonna get shot in the side of his skull by a late spawning, sneaky little fucker that is I, and get his dreams crushed and leave all that loot for me.